Hi, this is Dr. Graves with the California State University at Northridge Geography Department, and this is a quick video tutorial lesson on reading topographic maps. What we're going to take a look at is uh, Caldwell Butte, which is a interesting uh, feature up in Sisiskiyou County, Northern California, um, and this is a contour map, sometimes hard to read. Uh, we have different versions of it. This is over in ArcMap. You may be familiar with that. I'm going to zoom in on the area where Caldwell Butte can be found. And I will turn the county maps off and turn on a raster map of elevation. And here you see uh, Caldwell Butte once again. Another image that we can get of it is in Google Earth. Here you see it on the screen. I'm going to type in Caldwell Butte and click search and it will uh, zoom in on the Caldwell Butte. And here we see it uh, directly overhead to give you a sense of what Caldwell Butte looks like um, at an angle. I have exaggerated the elevation you can do that yourself in Tools, select Options, and Terrain Exaggeration here. Um, but this allows us to see the elevation profile of Caldwell Butte and maybe get an, a sense of the nature of this X, this extinct volcano, and its uh, caldera formation. That's how it looks in ArcMap. Here we can click on the information button, click on one of the grid pixels, and get a sense of the elevation. This is in meters, uh, but this uh, number of meters, uh, 1569, is equal to uh, 5147 feet. If I switch back over to Google Earth, I can, um, I can click or run uh, the grabber over it, and in the lower right-hand corner, it will give me an approximate elevation. Unfortunately, frequently we don't have these sorts of um, tools available with us in the field, and so we have to carry with us instead a paper map, um, or at least um, on a computer we can carry images of this and um, then we have uh, contour elevations and we can see um, Caldwell Butte rendered in a topographic map. The point of this is to learn how to read a topographic map and uh, how to read essentially the contour lines. Um, contour lines come in two types essentially. One are the major index lines and they are the thicker ones and often indicated at uh, large round numbers. So, for example, this contour line here in this thicker brown is at the elevation 4,700 feet. There's another uh, thicker index line at 4,800 feet, 4,900 feet, and then again at 5,000. And if we follow this line around, to the other side of Caldwell Butte, we will see that there is 5,000 indicated. Uh, you have to calculate the interim lines, the minor uh, contour lines between the major index lines by counting the number of lines and then deducing uh, the contour interval. And so for 4,700 uh, is an index line, contour lines one, two, three, four. So that's 4720, 4740, 4760, 4780, and 4800 feet above sea level. And that's how you read this. Now there are special lines here in the very interior, the very center of Caldwell Butte, and these hashers, these small hash marks that run 
perpendicular to the major contour line indicate that the elevation is decreasing, um, but the contour interval stays the same. And so if we look here, and this is uh, 5,100, and at the top of Caldwell Butte, the very highest contour interval appears to be 5,200, and then we would start decreasing uh, contour intervals back down. So this is 5,200, and this would be 5,180, 5,180, 5,160, 5,140, 5,120, and then back to 5,100, and in the very center of the caldera, some uh, value below 5,100. If I were to zoom in on this and click somewhere down here in the bottom of that, we should see that the elevation indeed is somewhere under 5,000. If we did the same thing, uh, with arc map and we click somewhere in the middle and take a look at the value for the pixels in meters 1495 in meters is 4816 feet so those are the three uh, possible ways that you can uh, calculate and understand contour intervals I will show you one last one it is uh, a website called Acme Mapper. Very cool. We click on this to open it up. And here I can type in Caldwell Butte once again and click Find. It will zoom in on Caldwell Butte. Here we have a um, topographic map. But as we zoom in, the topographic map will change to different scales, and uh, we see much the same as we have before. But what's pretty cool is that uh, we can switch between these maps. Here's the plain Google map, but uh, the Google map with terrain, we can turn that to see the uh, contour elevations. Uh, we can look at the satellite imagery, which is essentially the Google Earth imagery, uh, but we can't tilt it very well. There's uh, Mapnik, uh, back to the Topo map, and uh, other options uh, that help you um, understand the relationship between these various ways of showing elevation. That uh, concludes this very... Uh, quick and rough video tutorial on reading contour maps and topographic maps.